this is a simple reflective structure allocation modeling here i have three latent factors a b and c also 10 observed variables here question is which variables are exogenous and which are endogenous before we start we have to know that the exogenous variables are those variables that are not influenced by any other variables that is they have no incoming errors from any other variables for the endogenous variables they will be influenced by any other variables here look at the variable a b c these three are here unobserved latent factors also the variables that is error terms e1 e2 e3 E4, E5, E6, E7, E8, E9, E10 are also unobserved exogenous. Variable A has no incoming errors. That is, it is not influenced by any other variables and it is not observed. So, it is an unobserved exogenous variable. Again, the error terms E1 to E10 are also unobserved exogenous because they are not influenced by any other variables now look at the variable b and c these two are also latent and unobserved but are influenced by other variables such as b is influenced by a and c and c is influenced by a but it has influence on variable b so c is a mediator but also an endogenous variable so here a b c are all latent factors but a only is the unobserved exogenous variable because it is not influenced by any other variables but variable b and c are unobserved endogenous variable because these two are influenced by other variables and in the case of c it is influenced by a and does influence on c so it is a mediator and also an endogenous variable now look at the variable a1 to a3 this 3 and b1 b2 b3 these 3 and c1 to c4 these 4 that is these 10 variables are observed and influenced by the latent factors so these 10 variables are object endogenous variables now to run the model we would like to add row terms on these two variable first and now run the model click on the variable summary see here's the list of variables that is a1 to c4 these 10 variables are observed endogenous variables variable b and c are unobserved endogenous variables variable a and the all arrow terms are unobserved exogenous variables now if we add an arrow terms on variable a this a variable will be no more exogenous because it has influence by this e13 variable so in this case when we add arrow terms on all the latent factors there will be no more exogenous variables you can run the model again and go to the variable summary see that this a b c all three are now unobserved endogenous variables so in summary if any variables is influenced by any other variables it will be called an endogenous variable if a variable is not influenced by any other variables then only it will be an exogenous variable now if we add an extra object variable suppose i am adding 
the variable age and draw effect on variable c variable a and variable b this variable age will be an observed exogenous variable here run the model see that the only observed exogenous variable is age here so to understand simply the endogenous and exogenous variables you can look at the arrows if there is no incoming arrows in a variable that variable is exogenous variable if there are any incoming arrows that variable will be endogenous variable so when an observed variable has no incoming arrow that variable will be observed exogenous variable if any unobserved variable has no incoming arrow that variable will be unobserved exogenous variable if any observed variable has any incoming arrow that variable will be observed endogenous variable if any unobserved variable has any incoming arrow that variable will be called unobserved endogenous variable